Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 12 April 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Oudendahl writes that people are at the heart of South Africa's water sector recovery. The complexity of the water sector in South Africa, along with the numerous and seemingly insurmountable challenges faced, demands a series of integrated interventions, and people are at the centre of these solutions. The engineering news features focus on generators and standby power, where standby gensets are no longer a viable option while load shedding persists. And working at height, where the Institute for Work at Height warns of a looming standards change. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Tanzania, where a graphite mine is on track to meet growing demand. This week's business leader is Renir van Royen, the Group Business Systems Executive at Multitech. And as this week's cartoon shows, while voters will receive three quite different looking ballots on May 29, the seeming increase in choice is not necessarily translating into greater excitement. However, before treating the day as a day off, it's important to remember the sacrifices made to ensure that all adult citizens have the right to vote. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. 